Recently, I spent a day with Florian Venom Kohler, filming some stuff with Pubo Huang in super slow motion. In this video, I show everything we captured for the Masse shot, including some examples and tip and cue comparisons. Here's a standard Masse shot challenge, where the goal is to curve the cue ball around the row of balls to pocket the hanger in the corner. Striking the cue ball on the bottom left side, as looking from above, with a highly elevated cue, creates the spin necessary to curve the ball. Notice that Venom is bridging from his leg to enable a long stroke to generate lots of cue speed. I will cover detailed technique advice for all types of Masse shots in a future video, so stay tuned. You can get an even longer bridge length and more cue speed using an air bridge with your arm braced against your body like this. In super slow motion, you can clearly see the large force generated by the tip to impart lots of spin to the cue ball. One thing we looked at is how different tips and cues perform with highly elevated Masse shots. We tested a full range of cues, including a jump cue with a phenolic tip, a playing cue with a medium hardness tip, and a special purpose Masse cue. The following attributes help make a Masse cue effective. It is short to make it easier to position and stroke the cue in a highly elevated position. It has a large shaft diameter, mostly to make it strong and stiff for durability and for better action on the cue ball. It is heavier, so you can get more action on the cue ball with less cue speed and effort. It has a soft tip, partly to limit cue ball jumping or hopping. A soft tip also helps trap the cue ball between the tip and table, allowing for more force over a longer contact time to generate more Masse spin. Here are the super slow motion clips we captured for each of the cue and tip types. The Masse cue is first. Notice how the cue stiffness and soft tip help keep the tip in contact to impart maximum spin as the cue ball is driven down into the table. Also notice that there appears to be secondary contact, which would make the shot a foul if super slow motion video replay were available, which is usually not the case. As with any cue, if you hit too far off center, a miscue results, and not much spin is imparted to the cue ball. Here's the playing cue with a medium hardness tip. Notice how the shaft is much whippier, causing it to flex away sooner and with a larger amplitude. But as the cue flexes back and vibrates, it still seems to create or come very close to secondary contact. Here's a miscue with the playing cue. Notice the burn mark on the cue ball caused by the significant friction force at fast speed. Here's the jump cue. The tip bounces away sooner. And as with the other cues, secondary contact is likely. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of all three cue and tip combinations. Again, notice how the Masse cue's softer tip, heavier weight, and stiffer shaft help generate more force and spin, as described earlier. Now let's look at a fun and interesting trick shot from the classic pool movie, The Hustler. Here's the standard version of the shot from my Top 10 Pool Movie Shots video linked in the video description. The goal is to cut the one in while drawing back with a Masse shot to carom in the nine, all in one shot. Here's the low quality slow motion version from the original video. Here's an advanced version of the shot, Venom style. Instead of drawing straight to the nine off one rail like most people do, Venom goes off three rails first, just for fun. If you practice these types of shots as much as Venom does, be aware that they can be abusive to the table's cloth. During an earlier attempt at this shot, Venom cued a little too close to the rail and ripped the cloth on the cushion. Also look at the burn marks and damage on the cloth from lots of Masse shot attempts. The problem isn't the tip hitting the table. It is the intense friction at the bottom of the cue ball as it is jammed down into the table with extreme force and spin.
Well, that's it for now, but stay tuned for more to follow. And be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channels, turn on bell notifications, and comment below with your observations and questions. And good luck with your game from Dr. Dave. Thank you.